31 days if I just mouse over it you see all the days I mouse over this you see all the visits right and that's basically what that is but then I can click on her name Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about how do you track your Facebook engagements using Active Group User Software. So we're going to show you how that software helps you to track and manage your engagements on Facebook. What pages, what posts you comment on, that kind of stuff. So we're going to get to that in just a second, but first this. So the real question is this. What are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, and welcome to Course Income Secrets. That's right, you can figure out how many visits you went to a person's profile, how many posts you commented on, and you can keep track of that. And why is it important to keep track of that, right? The importance is that it'll let you know if you're being seen by them, and it lets you grow your know, like, trust with that prospect. So we're going to show you how to do that in just a second. But just remember, if you're watching this, uh, um, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the other video at cis477.jsgagnon.com because I'll be sharing my screen. I'll be showing you what I'm talking about. And let's do that right now. So you're on Facebook and you're scrolling the feed, right? You're scrolling the feed. Wouldn't it be cool if you knew how many posts, how many times have you seen Jane's posts right how many times have you seen um joel well this is an ad but how many times have you seen rafael laplante right here right and 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 uh, sarah how many times have you seen their post and would it be a good time for you to have a conversation now the thing is that if you're on facebook if you're building a business on facebook you're most likely doing it because you're trying to sell something right you're either trying to get them to join your mlm you're trying to get them to uh, connect with you you're trying to uh, sell them something join your MLM like I said right or or, or maybe uh, subscribe to one of your services or whatever it is or maybe you're trying to sell uh, you know even a, a, a product like you know you've got a restaurant you want people to come into your restaurant you've got a, a cafe or you're you're selling you know house uh, cleaning services or whatever it is whatever it is that you're doing it's on social media is now the way to build a business online to find prospects so how do you find the best prospects and how do you know that they're ready for you to talk to them right so that's the thing you know they tell you go on social media go into groups go find the people and become the expert so that people will start noticing you and and all that now that's good but if you don't have a ton of time you want to focus your time on the right activities on the right people you want to be you know engaging on the right posts right so let's say um that i'm i'm well here's the thing let's talk about how you can do it without active group users first right because active group users is a software that'll give you a list of all the people that you can go and engage with and it'll tell you all sorts of things we'll talk about that in a second but before we do that I want to tell you what you can do without it so if I go to my own profile right you click on your own name obviously it'll be your profile and you go to that page right <clears throat> up here there's three little dots right there and you can come in here and you say our um, activity log right there right so you click on activity log and in here you can go in here and you can say comments group posts and comments so if I go to comments I can see every post that I've commented on reacted on and I can see you know uh what I what does it show the comment uh yes it shows you the comment that you actually did right over here right <clears throat> so but you know you'd have to like count this stuff right it's like oh my god yeah sure I can come in here and count the number of times that I've seen Christopher Johnson's how many times I commented on this stuff and whatever but it's really ridiculous if it's possible but it's <laughs> it's ridiculous to have to do that yourself I certainly when I found this stuff I was like well geez I yeah let's do that right I started <clears throat> using spreadsheets and things like that 
to track that but it's like ridiculous how much work it is involved especially if you want to be visiting and engaging on different people every day you don't want to be <laughs> commenting and engaging on on the same people's posts you know the same people which is what which is what you'll get if you're on the news feed right you're going to see the same 20 or so 30 people that post and you're going to see their posts on your news feed right but you can do all this other stuff all this stuff is here all this information is here if I go back to posts right here uh your post on others timelines your posts I mean it's like there's a lot of data that you can get out of this when you go to the activity uh log on Facebook right but like I said it's too much work I find it's too much work. I'm just going to load up back to the main page here and I'm going to show you active group users how do you use active group users first of all if I well let's go here so you can kind of see if I if I load up the extension which is a software you just install it to your browser I'm not going to go through the details of doing that but let's say you've got it set up you've got your groups entered you basically give it the groups where you want people where you want it to go find people so what it does is it goes and finds the people that are active in those groups the people that actually post and comment in those groups and it gives you a list right so me I've been using it up I've been using it for for year for I don't know how long over a year and a half now and basically what I do is instead of going to the news feed right if, instead of going to the news feed and commenting on the posts that are here right I mean obviously this is this is a great post I would comment on this you know whatever and go through the news feed and I would comment on the post that I see here but the thing is that Facebook is going to show me posts that are related to the kinds of things I've done before which um you know it's that's just how it is right that's just how it is all right so I want to control that I want to take control you want to take control of what it is how many visits you've had like say for example I look at uh, Stacy Hall right here okay the numbers okay let's just kind of explain what we're seeing here on the screen right so the numbers here 79 204 177 1 and 0 right so those are numbers if I just mouse over here you can see that this number of visits to this contact social profile this is the number of reactions I did on this contact social post this is the number of comments I made on the so you can mouse over all these to see what they are but basically right now it's showing me a list of the contacts I have right the social media contacts I have and sorted by the number of uh comments I posted on I reacted to their um, the number of com the number of posts I commented on right right here 177 176 176 159 148 and that's what those numbers are so if I click on Stacy's name here it'll load up like a preview if you will the summary of of that which a little bit more details here you know the 79 visits 177 posts 204 it shows me in the last 631 days if I just mouse over it you see all the days I mouse over this you see all the visits right and that's basically what that is but then I can click on her name here and it says I visited her four days ago so actually you know what I'm gonna close this one and I'm gonna go to somebody who I haven't visited in a long time this over here this column here is visited it's basically how long ago has it been since I visited the profile so here's here's how you use the tool you go to a profile you click on their name and that takes you to their profile when I click on the name again after you see the pop-up you click on their name again it takes you to their profile and it records that you visited their profile the tool knows now that today I visited Stephanie's profile it knows I visited her profile now and if I want which I which you definitely should you should comment on some of these posts I'm just gonna um read this a little bit here and I'm gonna react to a few of her posts right so one I'm gonna go to another one here and I'm gonna go to another one here and I'm gonna just I'm just gonna like this one I'm gonna say absolutely this is the most important thing to remember about the law of attraction so the law of attraction if you don't know what that is it's you know you, whatever you think uh, becomes uh, of course there's a lot more to it than that but that's the basics 
and if you think of negative things you're going to attract more negative things so that's that's one of the basis so anyways I I comment on this post now I can just close this tab and it takes me back to the pro to the to the tool and I can just say down here I commented on three posts I oh, know I come on one post I reacted to three posts and then I click on the save update now that records that I visited Stephanie today you see right now it says just now right there I visited her profile right now and why is this important right because what happens is if I if when you get started you're going to have a list of you know people that are in the groups that you chose but there's going to be zero everywhere right it's just going to be you've never visited the profile I mean the tool doesn't go and figure out what you did in the past it just is used from today moving forward right so as you visit these people's profiles you're going to know uh that you visit them you know 5 10 20 times if I like say for example I look at um where is a good example uh well at, actually actually Jane right here Jane if I go to her uh, page I see that I visited her five days ago so I'm actually not going to visit her again because I do that every six days I visit people's profiles every six days and after you visited them like you know five six seven times you know that they've seen you in their notifications at least you know that amount of well maybe not all the times but let's say you visit them you know 15 times well you know that they've seen you probably five or six times and even then it's it's a process right but the secret is that no matter what you're doing with online marketing attraction marketing is the same no matter what you do it's all about getting people to see you see your post see what you're about right enough so that they start to notice you and recognize you and, and know who you are and eventually like you and trust you right so it's all about that <clears throat> and the thing about it is that you will grow in their knowledge of you they'll they'll automatically start to know you because they'll see your notifications they'll probably click on your profile they'll probably go see what you're about and then figure out what you're about and if you decide to message them and say hey I really like this post you just did I just wanted to say to, to say that and then you have a conversation with them and say hey so what are you up to these days what is it that you're actually promoting online right say for example you're looking to um uh, connect with people who promote things like me I'm in affiliate marketing so that's kind of what I do but if you're uh, trying to sell weight loss you might be saying hey I noticed you posted about this this uh this this weight loss you tried like 10 years ago or, well actually I'm, I'm not in weight loss I don't really know how you would approach somebody about it but I'm sure there's lots of training on that but the idea here is that if you contact them out of the blue you might get one in a hundred even one in a thousand to actually reply to you right but if you use this strategy you're going to get like one in probably nine out of ten will actually reply to you if you have a conversation with them right because they have already seen you they've noticed you they've seen what you're about all right so now let's talk a little bit more about what um you can do with the tool right so the kinds of things you can do with the tool like for example if I say over here I want I want to use the notes to identify people that I should that I don't really uh want to continue the conversation either they're not my target market or maybe they said uh, that I contacted them and they said no or you know that kind of stuff so I don't want to waste time seeing them in my list I can say without a note right here and it'll show me a list without a note and you know obviously if you use the note for other reasons then you won't be able to use that but I use the note to identify people that I don't want to go visit their profile again because they've like I said they're either not my target market or maybe they don't even post anything ever their profile is locked that kind of stuff so I won't even visit them but that's one thing you can do you can choose the filter right here the other thing you can do is you can say just show me the po the profiles of people that I have not seen in at least six days so I'm just going to put minimum six days right here and then I'm going to click on the filter now it's going to show me only people I visited at least six days ago so that way the people I visited yesterday two days ago three days ago that I won't see them in the list anymore right so I'm just going to see the people that I visited at least six days ago see 66 46 176 so I mean obviously some of these I 
they fell off the list because I normally visit them every six days or so but if I click on the Facebook comments here which will sort the list based on how many comments so in other words they're posting lots of comments in Facebook they're more active and I'm engaging with them more and that's usually why those others I <coughs> haven't uh, visited in a long time because they don't maybe don't post as much <laughs> in groups or at least in the groups I've seen so now if I look at this it says right here that I've got Chris Lockwood right here that I haven't visited in 272 days I've got Sharon Watkins here who I've not visited yet Kimberly 11 days ago Mary and not yet another one so I could visit these profiles go check their posts and do exactly what I just showed you earlier the other thing I want to show you is that you can edit or you can actually create a brand new person if you have a friend that you want to be able to track the times you visit the profile you can actually add them just by clicking the plus here and you say new contact it'll pop up uh, the ability to create a new contact first name Facebook URL and then you can just save that I'll, I might show you in a second but for now let's just say that I want to show you also how you can change the profile pictures you see mostly the profile pictures will show up uh, let's see if I load some more if you click on the load more it'll load more from the list right it'll load more people and then after that uh, there might be some that have no profile right no profile picture and that happens because the tool doesn't go to every single profile to get their picture it just does a certain number every time it runs so sometimes you'll have some that don't so you can click on their name here and instead of clicking on their profile to go visit them on Facebook and track that visit and comment on posts and things like that you can click on the little edit icon right here I just click on this it loads up the editing the editing uh, view and I can go in here and go put the profile picture link here so what you do is you click on their name that'll take you to their profile won't register that you visited them though and you'll get their profile in this case this is a profile that either doesn't exist anymore or that maybe they even blocked me I don't know but this profile does not exist so if I can uh, sometimes people change their URL but in this case I think maybe it's a it's a profile that deleted but let me just see if I just search for Kareem Kareem Bradley and I just search for it see if that exists Kareem Bradley I wouldn't have no clue who that is whether it's one of these people or not right <clears throat> but anyways this is an example of a profile that doesn't exist so in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this and I'm going to I can either put a comment in here that says um no profile no uh, bad link let's just say bad link I add a link right here so that way whenever I go back it's not going to show me this person in the list the other thing I can do too is I can go to her or him I, I guess Karim might be a guy and then I can say the temperature the lead status I can say lost or invalid right here and I save that and you can see it shows invalid right there right all right so that's another I want to get uh I want to get a profile that I can show you how to change the profile picture because that's an, a thing that really it really helps me when I look at these just their name with no profile pictures I don't usually remember them as much so here's Lauren Stevenson let's go take a look at Lauren click on the edit icon and then click on their name here to load up the Facebook profile see if that's a real one yes it is okay so now that it shows me her profile right I can just click on her profile picture right here to load it up and then I can right click here copy image address and I can close this and then I can go back to here and paste that right there and I can save it and it tells me it saved it and now if I click on her name again <coughs> the profile picture is there now if I reloaded the page it would show up here but right now it's not refreshed right here but uh, maybe that'll be fixed when you look at it right but that's how you edit a profile picture so Melissa let's do another one click on the uh, profile link the edit I mean then go to the profile click on their profile image and right click the picture copy image address and paste it right here there you go so that lets you save the profile picture for somebody right so if I click on her name again you can see that now I have a profile picture all right so that's another thing now let's see if I want to add 
a brand new user to my list here somebody that's not in my list um I don't know let's just go to my friends and add somebody that is a friend that I know has not been I have no idea oh these are friend requests my friends uh let's go down here and look at somebody that I know is not in there maybe maybe Joseph Mark let's look at this so this one here let's just say I want to add him as a this is going to be the URL I just copy the URL I go in here and say plus contact put the URL right here his name is Joseph Mark I know that Lalonde. and then I can put his profile picture as well by clicking on his profile picture right clicking this copy image address and go put that right here now I can also put his number his email address his address if I want country state and <clears throat> here's the thing right if I was to want if I wanted to use this tool and just just go after people in the USA <coughs> like he's in Canada so I'm going to put Canada right here I can do this put the the, the country in here let's say if, who else do I know who's in Canada well I, anyways I probably won't find it but you see how it doesn't have the columns right here don't have the country right if I want to I can change the columns by clicking the columns here and adding the country I'm going to add the country show the country apply columns invalid oh I guess I'll have to fix that but you would normally have the country here I guess I got to fix that but um the country would show up and you'd be able to uh, uh, search on the uh, filter on or sort on it sorry sort on the country and you'd be able to use that so what else can we talk about here um okay so once oh here's the other thing so let's say for example oh here's you see how Chris is showing up as a temperature of hot and lots of these are all cold a few of them are warm lots of them have none because the none are people I have not visited see how it says not visited yet right um as I visit the profiles as you visit the profiles the tool keeps track of your visits how many visits you visited them right and as your visits grow you know 5 10 11 visits your pro your the tool will automatically change the temperature from cold to warm to hot and that's based on options right click on options right here you see become a warm contact after three visits and 10 comments become a hot contact after seven visits and 20 comments now you can change these <laughs> and make this a different number of comments you can make this different but obviously you want to have more comments to become hot <coughs> and this will automatically change the temperature of the of the of the lead so you can because then once the lead is hot you can contact them you can say show me just like I want to um, see only the hot contacts and filter and then it shows you the list of only the hot contacts right and you can also say I want just the warm contacts because you want to engage more on them right and you can also say I want just the cold contacts obviously which will let you see just the ones that have not warmed that yet but, uh, you can see right here there's less visits right than the other ones and that's kind of how you can use these these filters now you can put this back to all the next field that's important to understand is the status the status of your lead it's either a brand new lead it's a lead that you've just engaged with on their post by commenting on their posts or it's a lead that maybe you sent a private message to or maybe it's a lead you had a conversation about your product maybe you've even presented your product to them maybe they're ready to buy or maybe they even purchased right so the status uh, is basically also uh, under your control so say for example I go back to uh, who did I visit there All right click on load more I just want to see oh here's a uh a lead a lead that I haven't visited in a long time see how it says it's hot and active I actually certainly did have a conversation with Susan so if I just click whoops wrong one just click on Susan right here one of the things you'll notice is that uh you can come in here and you can say I reply I contacted her she replied to me I presented she's trialing it she purchased 
right you can choose this not no this list might change or we might be able to make it so that it's more under your control as to how the they navigate through that just like in you know salesforce and whatever it's very much much more advanced than this obviously this is a very basic crm but it lets you kind of track your facebook activities the people that you visit on facebook now here's another thing uh say for example somebody changes their profile url i'm actually going to clear these <clears throat> and i'm going to look for there i know there's one person that uh the their profile changed i don't know if it's because i don't know why right but sometimes people change their profile the urls they create a brand new account they lose their old account they get blocked you know that kind of thing so if i just search for her tracy uh tracy cook uh has a new account a new profile now so but i have been visited visiting her for a while but i haven't visited in a while because i she didn't show up in my list anymore and I just now before doing this video I noticed why so if I click on her name you see that there's no profile here right if I click on the edit I want to go and check her profile out and you know update the profile picture right so I click on her name here and it gives me an error it says this profile doesn't exist right so I'm like hmm what happened I thought she I still saw her but here's the thing if you know the profile you go to it and fix it but right now I don't even know so I'm gonna just put her name here whoops three c cook yes let's just do that <clears throat> and then I'm going to look at the ones that I see and the you know obviously if you know if I know who this is this is the profile here but if you weren't sure you could maybe but if you knew the person obviously you would be able to recognize it so I'm just going to go here I know that th this is actually this is actually the profile of her and it's just her new profile right so now her profile is this Tracy Lee Cook podcast empire so I'm just going to take that url go back to here and change the url to this and then I'm going to put a profile picture right here which is this I'm going to copy image address put that in here there we go and I'm going to save that and then there you go so now if I reload this page let's just fill let's just click the filter again you can see now we have Tracy Cook right here with the new profile picture and if I click her uh let's close these tabs if I click her uh account now now it's going to go to the new URL the proper URL and oh I guess it's not oh right I forgot about that there's a um, okay let's go back here I forgot about that you got to click the change URL right here to put her new URL right there uh okay let's do that then let's go back here uh new tab and this won't work let's go back to her proper profile Tracy Cook right here okay so that's it here let's copy that go back here change URL put that right there and save that there we go okay so now it's going to be proper if I click on this it's going to take me to her profile now her proper her new one right Tracy Cook podcast empire and I can come in here and I can engage on some of her posts and there we go on mission to help 10,000 women with the power of podcasting wow wow that's amazing that's an amazing mission all right so now I'm going to have one comment right so again I'm going to show you how this works I comment uh I'm going to react on three posts that's kind of what I do three posts I react on and one post I comment on I used to do three and three but Facebook started telling me that I was doing it too fast or something so I'm just going to close this right here then I'm back here I'm going to say comment on one post react it to three posts and I save that and now I have this now the other thing you'll notice is that uh is that <clears throat> sorry the column the the row there is now green right that means that it's visited in the last 24 hours so right now it says just now so if I clear the filters and I sort by well I don't know if I can sort by anything else if I sort if uh, so you can see some rows are going to be green some rows are going to be 
see right here you see there's some of these rows are green right that's because I visited those profiles in the last well today seven hours ago right now if I remove the notes without whoops I clicked on there so without notes <coughs> uh, now we're going to see just the people that I that don't have notes which you know notes like you know profile no profile locked profile no post somebody who's not posting so that's kind of what I do but you see I have a few more here right <clears throat> and that's kind of how you use active group users to track because if I go to any of these I know exactly how many times I visited the profile I know exactly how many comments I posted on I know exactly you know and I can you can even see the actual um like posts that you commented on if I look at say for example uh well let's go to DD here DD if I click on her <coughs> uh let's see oh, actually there's a uh I forgot about this I gotta fix that so that you can actually see this but I'm just gonna do it manually right here and I'm gonna put her ID <coughs> now when I go to her uh details page if you will on on the crm and the active group users you see uh i see the temperature the status i see everything right but then i also see all the activities right so um she commented on these posts right she posted this i reacted to some posts of hers i visited her social profile she commented on all these posts so you can kind of see the activity of what's going on with this particular person and you can kind of you can see basically all the comments all the posts she commented on this she commented on this she commented on this right so you can kind of track that and see you know you can actually if you want to have a conversation with this person you can kind of use this as a you know helper right if you will right and obviously uh, we can improve this has got to be improved obviously but I'll just click on back to list here <coughs> but yeah so that's basically what you can do with active group users to track your activity on Facebook isn't that like wouldn't it be like anyways if you want to just go to the about if you go to about you can actually start a trial just by clicking this trial here and uh I'll put the link in the page here if I can just put the uh, AGU so activegroupusers.com if you just go there you can click on get your free trial you can actually get a free trial or if you want to attend we do a, a demo every Thursday that gives you even more bonuses and everything like that if you want to attend that it's that's uh, demo.agudemo.com all right so we'll see you on the inside this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.